Um, so Brian, before we talk about this weekend's team, um, obviously we've had two really great contests against Wales and France. What are the reflections that you're taking from those performances so far? Uh, positive. Um, I think if we were offered the performances and or some of the performances from the two games, we'd have been pretty pleased with the taking it. You know, four points from the first game against Wales away, and then a, a really good performance against France, albeit. In both games, we were disappointing in some aspects, and these are things that we've we've learned, and we'll take it into the next block of three games, which is a you know it's a really important block of games for us. But you know we'll take we'll take aspects of the performance um, and learn from other aspects, and we'll take it into this block. We've obviously now had a week off, and we've come back into training. So yeah. how's that been coming back in? It's been great. I think you know we've learned a lot over the last couple of seasons with Six Nations that the week off is not just a week away and. Uh, do nothing. You know, we the, there was tired bodies after France, and rightly so. We put in a real defensive performance. We put our bodies in the line. I think you could you could tell that through our performance. So there was a bit of fatigue, um, but then we trained kind of Wednesday, Thursday. You know, then didn't come in, and then coming in on Monday, it was great to see everybody. There's always this um, energy when they come back, but an energy but wanting to to improve on the last two performances and that's what we're that's what we're after now so now looking ahead to this weekend on our team uh we've got a couple of changes and we'll start with the back so chloe roley is returning to fullback and meryl smith moves into the center can you talk me through those changes yeah look i think meryl's played really well at 12 this year with um with bristol and, and chloe's got real experience in there meryl's done really well at 15 as well the last couple of games Lisa Thompson, I have to say, has been been excellent the first two games, but she also went to Hong Kong in the follow week, and you know to to leave on the Sunday to then you know train and then play in Hong Kong. It's a massive ask to get her to come straight back in, train this week, and then go into the team as well. So we had to be wary of that as well. But with the players that we've got and with the the depth that we have in the squad now, it was it was an easier decision for us to make. So um, yeah, look, it's two experienced players to come in there and then. Obviously, having Lana, Lana Skeldon coming back in this week as well, and you know, when again it shows the depth that we've got. When you lose a player like Lana against Wales, but then uh, seamlessly Ellis came on against Wales and then performed really well last week. Although she was taken off after 50, you know, it was a big shift for her. She got, I think, she got a 30-second break and then had to go back on. And you know, Molly, Molly Wright, obviously coming on, but. You know Molly's recovered, and you know Molly will will take her place on the bench. Albeit this time not covering Hooker, but she'll cover loose head this time. Obviously, you've just touched on that bench there, so we've got a five-three split of our forwards and backs, and you've noted amongst those Ellis and um, Molly as being real impact players, and we've also got Fran McGee back on. Um, when she'd be making her first appearance potentially since WXV2. So what are you hoping that the rest of that bench can bring should they come on? Yeah, look, I think the, we're, we're lucky with the bench. We've got a really a really strong bench. And sometimes it's been really unfortunate. There's been a couple of players who have not got on the last couple of games. But as you can probably tell, you know, momentum in Wales was, was tough. We were in goal, their goal zone for like 12 minutes. They were in our goal zone for 10 minutes. And it was a, a difficult kind of momentum kind of change within that. Uh, same with France, you know, everything was, you know, was we're in a good spot, but then a couple of injuries happened. So, you know, we are we are, have a bench that we really trust, and we're we're looking forward to seeing. Um, I think Elian Clark, you know, has been going really well. You've got Ellis and and you've got Molly in there. You know, three three players who are who are excellent in the front row. Fee McIntosh has not been capped yet, but Fee again has been excellent all the way through. And then Rachel McLaughlin's coming back. You know, Rachel McLaughlin has been out for a while. She's not played a lot of rugby this season. Um, but it's trained really hard, come back to full fitness. So to have Rachel in there with, you know, covering for Alex Stewart, who's just been phenomenal the last couple of games, is, you know, it's a real bonus for us. And then on the bench, you've got Mary McDonald, who came on last week against France, did well. Um, you know, you're looking like you've got, you know, you've got Lisa Thompson, who's just, you know, has, as I say, has been excellent. But then having Fran McGee back as well. So, you know, it's a really strong bench that we have as well. And, you know, we we obviously trust the 15 that's put on, but we've also got a real good bench that can come on and change anything if we need to. And obviously looking at our opposition, England, this week, obviously they are number one in the world. Um, but what are you hoping that we can put out there and, and show? To gain respect, I think, you know, we've I've made it very clear we're not really benchmarking ourselves against the, the top kind of two, three in the world as yet. We're benchmarking performances. 
Um, I think we saw from last week against France that our performances are moving forward and we want to do the same again. And, you know, if we put in our performance like we did against France, we gain respect from an opposition like that. That is, that is us moving in the right direction. Um, you know, we have been, as I said, pleased with aspects of performance and we have to keep doing that. And, you know, if we can put in a performance this weekend against an England and, as you can tell, through our performances, we're building a crowd and then, you know, look at this weekend and we want to show that 7,800 and 11, I believe, <laughs> um, that, you know, what we're made of. Just on that, that crowd, this is the first time Scotland women have sold out Hive Stadium. What does it mean to you and to the squad that we now have such a huge fan base that are back in the team, coming to watch us and packing out a stand? Look, it means everything. It means everything to, to everybody involved, you know, players and management. And, you know, you've got to congratulate all the players and the management for everything that's going on. You know, I think performances are going well, but I think there's also a good brand of rugby. Um, it's an enjoyable brand to watch. Um, being at Murrayfield or the Hive actually um, for the last game against France, the atmosphere was you know it was amazing just to, to arrive there and see the crowds that were milling around. Even when we arrived in the bus, you know there was a, a good group of supporters there who you made a lot of noise and they just want to see that the players that you know they are role models. You know these this group of players are you know they're they're trailblazers for what can come, but they're also putting in performances at the moment that they should be really proud of and. Um, you know, a big thank you to all the crowd that have bought tickets for this weekend and, you know, we'll, we'll put on a show.